Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I do have a lounge fly today, but I'm going to leave it till last. I have one, two, three, four other things first. Now, they're all from last year. This unboxing has been a while in the making. I don't know why it's taken me that long, but there we go. They're all Mickey slash Sorcerer Mickey slash Walt Disney Imagineering themed, starting off with the keychain. There was a, now I am a D23 member, which is kind of Disney's official fan club. There aren't really perks to being a member in the UK unless you get tickets for whilst there's an event while you're in the US. So not the best, but I, you do, blah, blah, yes, me already. You do get like a yearly gift with your kind of yearly subscription and there's four magazines. They just get shipped out to you each time. You don't have to pay extra for the shipping for the magazines thankfully but they have events every now and again and shopping experiences and i have a friend who's a d23 member and she knows how much i love mickey i believe this event was at the contemporary resort possibly at some point last year and i actually met up with her when i was in florida last year and grabbed a lot of these bits off her so why it's taken me this long i don't know anyway i can't remember they i don't think i kept the prices on all of them but this keychain was 14.99 and it's just Sorcerer Mickey. So if you've seen my videos before, Sorcerer Mickey and Spirit Elsa are my favourites. He's kind of like the keychains with the, the, what do you call this? Like the hook on there, but then he also has just the generic keychain part to him. But look how adorable he is. With his little wizard hat on. So, starting with Sorcerer Mickey. Can you see, oh, only just, you can see the itty bitty Sorcerer Mickey. My Sorcerer Mickey lounge fly is there, so he might be displayed next to it but for now i'm going to pop him just there two bits of clothing a lounge fly which i'm going to leave till last and a giant plushie which i'm going to need help with because right now he's still in the box and i don't know if i should take him out of the box so we might need to have a vote spirit jersey let me check uh, oh 70 dollars the price is on the tag we love that you can see the glitter already look at the shimmer Look at the shimmery glitter. I love it. Does it come off? No! Which we like. It's, I've got a few spirit jerseys. I think it's actually the Arundale Aqua spirit jersey that has the glitter. That comes off quite a bit. It could just be because it's a bit old now, but still. This one, so far, is not. It's like a beautiful navy blue sort of colour with the gold sparkles. D23 on the front in the gold padding. Do we, we have things down both of the arms. What are they? Let's have a look. Sorcerer Mickey's hat. The heart of Tafiti. We have Miguel's guitar. What is that? Is that, oh, Star Wars fighter. Is it one of the TIE fighters? Embarrassing myself. Genie's lamp. What's on the other arm? Are they the same? Are they different? They appear to be different. Oh, I see. So is that like Disney, Pixar, Star Wars? Okay. I get it. Pixar ball. Oh, is that a TIE fighter? I'm embarrassing myself now, aren't I? What is that? We have, we have Thor's hammer, who Paul Rudd thinks is called Jonathan. So we'll go with it. Thor's hammer, Jonathan. This is just like a swirl. Is that supposed to be just like a, like a doll whip? Is that a doll whip? We'll go with it. We have the poisoned apple from Snow White and we have a teacup. So could this be more of like a parks side? Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, across the back. With spirit jerseys for the most part, the fun is on the back. This one is no exception. Gold member. Oh, if you can hear that part, it's the lounge fly. Because you do have to be a D23 gold member to get the yearly gift and then the, the four magazines. And I am a gold member. You do get like a little credit card style membership card as well my wording i can't think of all the words so there's the back look at the sparkle i love it what size is this one this one is a small i either go for small or extra small extra small is a bit more of a snug fit small is a lot baggier for me i'm a uk size 8 to 10 either size works i tend to if i have a small go with leggings for the bottoms covers your bum then extra small I tend to wear with jeans but each to their own you could do whatever you like plonk that there hoodie check the price 
price is still on this one as well. I thought I took the price off everything. Clearly I didn't. So I knew I had to show it. $59.99 for this one. It's like a teal blue sort of colour. It's not a very vibrant colour, but it's like a teal blue. We'll start with the back, which I believe is just nice and plain. It is just a nice plain teal blue. The front, oh no, in the hood. I mean, it's not really much of a design. It's just kind of some shapes. We've got some shapes. But that's in the hood. The drawstring actually says Walt Disney Imagineering on it. It's got it on both. If I show this one. I don't know if that's going to come up and focus. But it does say Walt Disney Imagineering on the kind of pull string. We have an embossed Mickey. Is he embossed or debossed? He's embossed because he sticks out. Debossed, sticked in. It's also a Mickey. It's very understated. I'm hoping, I'm sure you'll be able to see him. So it's a very understated hoodie. It's not like an in-your-face sort of one. But Sorcerer Mickey. Because Walt Disney Imagineering Sorcerer Mickey. You got it. And this is so soft. I might wear this later. Why not treat myself? Actually, is the inside soft? Ooh, it's that lovely kind of not quite fleece. Really soft inside. And it does feel quite thick as well. So it's a nice substantial hoodie. I've not folded that very well, have I? Never mind. Anyway, okay, the plushie, he's a little bit big. That's one of the reasons why I kept him in the box. I also really like the box because it might make him easier to display. But then part of me thinks, should I take him out of the box and cuddle him? I don't know. Let me see really quickly. Is there a price? There is, $34.99. And it says it's a Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive as well. I'm going to show you the back first. Oh, actually, oh, that same pattern that was in the hood is on the side. And then it says Walt Disney Imagineering down the side. I don't want to show the front too much properly. Walt Disney Imagineering down the side. Now, there is some writing on the back. I'm going to read out. Ahem. Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey is uniquely suited as the symbol of a true Imagineer. Playful, curious and innovative, a nod to both the legacy and the next gen of Imagineering. This reimagined take, re take on the classic icon evokes a bold, stylish and inspiring look towards the future. I really like that. And then we've got Sorcerer Mickey on the back. With all the lovely writing. Look. I'm going to have to try and hold him so he's not going to glare. But look, he's quite big, isn't he? Or it could just be, well, I mean, his hat's quite tall, but he's quite a big plushie. And I kind of have a weak spot for plushies. I feel like because the box is so nice and he's got the display in the box, I think I might just keep him in here. What do we think? I mean, it would be nice to cuddle him, but at the same time, they've gone to such a lovely effort with the box. I think I'm leaning more towards keeping him in the box, but let me know down below what would you do. Just because it's so nice. I mean, it's not taped up there, so I could open it, but then if he is tied in there, I wouldn't want to mess with any of the ties. Should we have a quick... Any resistance, and I'm not going to continue. Oh, no. Resistance, she says. Oh, no, that's not tape. Oh, will he just pop out? No, he is tied in there. Okay, I might just leave him in there then. I was going to say, if he just did slip out, then I might have gotten him out because it wouldn't have made a difference. But I think it's the, around the white part about around his back, like around his waist, I think he's secured in. So I think I might just leave him in the box. Lounge fire time. Carefully pop Mickey. Oh, we'll pop him just there. Oh, we don't drop, we won't drop Mickey Mouse. get out the packaging really quick. Sorry for the noise. There's some on the back. There is. Is there a price on this one? There is not. Okay. So I don't know the price of this one. I want to say around $80 because there's no... It, he has the Mickey ears on but there's no sequins. So he's not going to be in the realms of 90 It's kind of basic but at the same time it doesn't need any more than that. It's just a pure and simple Walt Disney Imagineering lounge fly. Now, the badge at the top does only say Walt Disney and Imagineering in the middle right there. That part does not say lounge fly. However, another way to tell are the zip pullers. You can see it does say lounge fly on the zip pullers just there. And it does say it on these ones. 
So she is a lounge fly. Oh, this one's a he because it's sort of a Mickey. This one's a lounge fly. And I love him. But very basic, just like a white background, black trim, and saucer and Mickeys all over. You can't really go wrong with the placement of this one because it's just saucer and Mickey everywhere. So he is up top. He is on the front of the ears. He is also on the back of the ears. And I've kind of shown you the back a little bit. Never mind. There are two side pockets. One on either side as well. Oh, wait. I take it back. We have a lounge fly badge on the side. I'm just, I, has that ever happened before? Normally it's all the same badge, isn't it? Most of mine are all Disney ones and they all have like Disney and Loungefly together. So, okay, so Walt Disney Imagineering and Loungefly badge. There we go then, we have both. But anyway, the zip has told us anyway. So, yes, side pocket in either side. I'm getting distracted. The back, well, the straps are that same kind of black trim around the zips. And then the back is the exact same pattern with the Sorcerer and Mickeys all over. What's the bottom? Oh, the bottom is black as well. I wasn't sure if it was going to be thought through Mickey. So we'll do a 360, we'll start from the front, and then we'll have a look at the inner lining, which I have not looked at. I have kept him sealed, and we will find it together. I love him. I have another D23, I, there's a D23 Expo backpack up there. This one might go next to that one, because they're two D23 Mickey <gasps> backpacks. Weird not. I'm not expecting an inner pocket, even though it's not Disney Parks. We don't have an inner pocket. I wasn't expecting one with this one to be fair. Inch. It's that same kind of diagonal pointing. It's the same kind of diagonal star as here. Design and the one that was on the inside of the hood. It's a lovely red colour. It's Well, it's more like a deep orange for the base and then the stars themselves are red. I really like this. Very different. I was kind of expecting it to be a grey lining similar to the hood, but I like it. We'll check the front pocket really quickly. It is the same. There is some packing foam in there, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very, very well. But it is the same. It's like a complete Mickey day, isn't it? I'm wondering if... Is this Mickey too long? Okay, so the hook fits in there. Oh, that might be a little bit long, actually. Hmm. Or, momentary interlude. If I pop the zips a bit more up top. Oh, actually, this is a thought. I have a keychain, and I do this with the zips quite often. So, like, when I'm out and about in one of the parks, I'll get a keychain with a hook, like this, and I will hook the two zips together. She says, they can hook. There we go because that way it's just a bit more secure. I only use a small one and keep it there, but that way no one's going to get into your bags without having to fiddle, and then you would notice what's going on. So just a little bit of safety there. But that works, doesn't it? That's a bit better. Oh, I like this. Do you know what? I might display them like this, actually. I might keep Mickey on there and display him up there next to that one. But let me know in the comments which your favourite item is from today. It's very nearly the Sorcerer Mickey plushie, but... I mean, it's got to be the lounge fly for me, hasn't it? If you've not seen my videos before, a little bit obsessed with lounge fly. But let me know which your favourite is. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!